Hello readers, I'm Mr. Shea from the Ridgefield Library. This is my friend, Mascot Tiger, and welcome to story time! Yay! Sing hello! Our hello song is a very special song. Because we sing using our voices, but we also use our hands. So get your hands ready. We're going to learn some American Sign Language. The first word we're going to learn is hello, just like you're saluting. Hello. The second word, and this is a great word to know, is friends. So we take our fingers, turn them into hooks, and they hug each other. Friends. Time we tap our wrist and say we tap right below our mouth. And then we're going to learn a new word today, which is seasons. You know, seasons like winter, fall, spring, and what's that last season, mascot tiger? Summer. <laughs> so for seasons, we take one hand, we put it straight up like we're giving an invisible high five. Take the other hand, turn it into a fist and that it makes a wheel, like the wheel of the year turning. Just go like that one time. You ready? So now let's sing. I'm gonna sing. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say Seasons. <laughs> Great job, everyone. Great job. Sing a song. All right, friends, it is time for our song. Yay! This song is all about the seasons. <laughs> so, let's see. Do we remember our seasons? We have winter, spring, summer, and autumn or fall. It has two names. <laughs> so for this one we're going to start our song by singing about the winter season. You know what I like to do in winter? I like to make a snow friend. Can you pretend like you're rolling up a ball to make a snow friend while we pretend to make our snow friend Let's sing like this. Oh, when we build a big snow pal, oh, when we build a big snow pal, that is the season we call winter. Oh, when we build a big snow pal. <laughs> Good job, everyone. Now let's do spring. What are some things that you do during the springtime. You know what Mascot Tiger likes to do? Mascot Tiger likes to plant seeds in the garden. So let's pretend to plant some seeds and let's sing. Oh, when we plant some tiny seeds. Oh, when we plant some tiny seeds. That is the season we call spring. Oh, when we plant some tiny seeds. Oh, great job, everyone. Now, what comes after spring? <gasps> summer. What do you like to do in the summertime? Mascot Tiger and I like to go swimming. Ooh, do you want to pretend to swim with me and Mascot Tiger? Let's all practice our strokes. And let's sing, oh, when we go for a swim. You ready? Oh, when we go for a swim. Oh, when we go for a swim. That is the season we call summer. Oh, when we go for a swim. <laughs> Excellent job, mascot tiger. And then do you know what our last season is? Autumn. So what do you like to do during autumn or in the fall? Mmm, Mascot Tiger likes to rake some leaves. 
So let's get out our rakes and let's sing, Oh, when we rake some leaves. You ready? Oh, when we rake some leaves. Oh, when we rake some leaves. That is the season we call autumn. Oh, when we rake some leaves. <laughs> Great job, everyone. Great job. And this is a fun song to sing with some of your favorite seasonal activities. Read a book. All right, friends, it is time for our book. <laughs> so today's book is called When the Shad Bush Blooms. So this book was written by Carla Messenger with Susan Katz and illustrated by David Kenny Tacheron Faden. So that means Carla and Susan wrote the words and David drew the pictures. One of the fun things about this book is that it is about a Lenape girl. And if you, like me, are in Ridgefield, Connecticut at this very moment, then you are on Lenape land. This is the place where Lenape Native Americans have lived for generations. All right, Ooh, we got some deer here. My whole family lives close to the land and to each other through the cycle of the seasons. And then we have the little girl on one side of the page. And look, look who we have on the other side of the page. Let's find out. My grandparents' grandparents, that must be who this is, walked beside the same stream where I walk with my brother. And we can see what they saw. Deer leap in the woods, hawks fly in circles overhead, frogs splash, and turtles sun themselves. Ooh, can you see any of those animals in these pictures? Can you find the hawk or the deer or the frog? Or the turtle. In early spring, when the shad bush blooms like a white lace veil, we go fishing. Dad smiles when my brother or I catch a shad. We roast the fish and everyone enjoys it, especially the dog. Oh, and look, so the little girl's family has a dog. And her grandparents' grandparents' family also has a dog. It's interesting to look at the two pictures, isn't it? And see what's different between back then and now. And what's the same? Hmm. When the deer shed their winter coats and geese honk on the pond, Dad and my brother clear the land for our garden. Mom and I sing as we plant the corn and the baby coos, shaking her rattle. Oh, do you see that little baby? There's long ago little baby and there's now little baby. Do you have a baby sibling? Maybe you have a baby sibling like the little girl. When the berries ripen, dangling like tiny hearts, we go Berry picking. My brother and I race to see who can pick the fastest. The baby tastes her first berries. Her smeared face makes me laugh. <laughs> Look at that smeared face. <laughs> Some yummy berries. When the air hums with the wings of bees, my brother and I chase the crows from our garden. Together, we gather honey. My brother ducks when a bee buzzes too close. I lick from one finger a drop as sweet as summer. Oh, there are those bees. Can you go bzzz like a bee? Bzzz. <laughs> when tall stalks rustle and the ears of corn have grown fat, we roast our corn with our friends. While Grandma carefully takes her corn off the cob, I gobble mine fast. The baby plays with a new doll 
and my brother scores a goal for his team. Mm. When grasshoppers patter in the fields and the evenings echo with insect song, we enjoy the autumn harvest. Mom finds a pumpkin so big she can hardly carry it. Grandma shows the baby a beautiful gourd. Ooh, what color is that gourd? It's a beautiful yellow gourd. My brother and I catch grasshoppers. Ooh, can you find any grasshoppers on this page? I see a few. Hmm. When the leaves fly like red and yellow wings and nuts tumble from the trees, Dad makes the house snug and warm before cold weather. My brother and I rake a huge pile of leaves and jump in. <laughs> Ooh, look at him jumping. So in English, this part of the fall season is called Deer Hair Turns Gray Moon and Falling Leaves Moon. I guess two moons. So look at that. That seems like the kind of part of the year that we're in right now. And then over here, we have what's in yellow here, translated. So this is in English, and then this is in the La Nape language, which is very interesting to compare. When gray skies drop flakes that glitter like falling stars, my brother and I climb the hill. Grandpa gives us a push at the top and we fly down. <laughs> the dog races after us barking. Oh, <laughs> oh that looks like fun. <laughs> when the days grow short and the trees creak and crack with the cold, Grandma mends our winter clothes and Grandpa tells us all stories. While we settle in, Mom fixes a snack. I ask to hear my favorite story twice. Oh, that looks so cozy. When ground squirrels dig in the drifts of snow and birds perch on fallen frozen branches, the boys start a snowball fight with the girls. <laughs> Mom stocks the house with food. My brother and I Remember to share with the animal people. So here they are. What are they doing here? They're having a snowball fight. <laughs> and here they're sharing with a chipmunk. And two, nope, one, two, three, four, five birds. <laughs> when spring peepers chirp their froggy songs, we go on a trip with grandma to gather maple sap. The baby tastes her first spring treat. I talk to a frog on a tree trunk. <laughs> Look at that frog. Do you like talking to animals? I like talking to dogs <laughs> and cats. <laughs> Any animal, really. As the seasons circle around once more, my brother and I walk to the stream. We watch for the shad bush to bloom again, as my grandparents' grandparents did. So they're back at the beginning a whole year later. And then at the back, there's some really interesting information and a pronunciation guide too. So right now we are in fall or autumn which in the Lenape language is called Taxcoac. Taxcoac. And I'll put in the uh, description below a link to the Lenape Talking Dictionary Project so you can learn other Lenape words and you can hear them pronounced so you know how to say them. All right, great listening, everyone. Great listening. Say a rhyme. All right, friends, it is time for our rhyme. And our rhyme today is all about the seasons. So let's get our arms ready because we're going to make some big gestures. And let's say, these are all the seasons I know. 
Welcome seasons, here we go. Now let's pat our laps. And we're gonna say winter, spring, summer, fall. Great job, everyone, great job. Do you think you can do that even faster? Oh, mascot tiger is not sure. <laughs> let's find out. These are all the seasons I know. Welcome seasons, here we go. Winter, spring, summer, fall. <laughs> that was pretty fast. Good job, good job. Do you want to try it super fast? Oh, mascot tiger wants to try it super fast. Let's go as fast as we can. Are you ready? These are all the seasons I know. Welcome, so, oh no, I'm already confused. <laughs> Let's start again. These are all the seasons I know. Welcome seasons, here we go. Winter, spring, summer, fall. <laughs> all right, great job, everyone, great job. Sing goodbye. Now our goodbye song is a lot like our hello song. <laughs> We're gonna sing using our voices. We're also gonna use our hands. So get your hands ready, and we're gonna learn one new word. Goodbye. Now actually, this is a special goodbye you only use for kids and babies. So a more accurate translation would be bye-bye. So wave bye-bye. All right, you ready? So, oh, and you remember friends? Turn our fingers into hooks, and they hug each other. Time we tap our wrist. And say we tap right below our mouths. All right, so now let's sing. Bye bye, friends. Bye bye, friends. Bye bye, friends. It's time to say bye bye. Bye, everyone. We'll see you next time.